Take a look at all the activity still here. We are on First Avenue and this is 12th Street. And this was a fire so stubborn and dangerous that the plan of attack became let a big portion of it just burn itself out. And that's why all these hours later, we still have a major disruption here. The bright glow of an East Village building on fire early Wednesday morning grew big enough to evacuate not just the five-story apartment building on First Avenue where it started, but other buildings on the block. Tenants in the building described their urgent and successful escapes around 2 a.m. while the blaze was still small enough to allow them through the smoke and out to safety. I found out from my roommate, so uh, I was actually sleeping. So he knocked on my door telling me that there's a fire outside as soon as I could. Went downstairs and then saw maybe 30 fire trucks, and then I knew this was serious. So I actually had to like knock on everyone's doors with like the neighbors, tell them there was a fire going on. Fire investigators traced the fire's origin to a first floor apartment. The back of the building suffered a collapse. The firefighters could not get past, and the area had to be allowed to burn itself out while the remainder of the structure was protected. We've been pounding this wall, that ceiling for, for, uh, for about five hours now, and we just can't penetrate the roof, and we can't put anybody out there to cut it, nor can we put people underneath it to pull it, and that's where it's burning. Of 14 people injured, none of them seriously, all but three were firefighters treated for smoke inhalation and some for heat exhaustion. The lengthy operation meant classes were canceled for schools across the street, where this student had the double whammy of living in an apartment now torched and a school temporarily closed. You know, it's not like I'm missing much. It's more of just the thing that I want to, you know, be back and with all my stuff and, like, you know, know where everything is and know that everything's fine. And for the time being, do yourself the favor of avoiding First Avenue from 7th Street all the way up to 14th Street while this investigation continues. One of the big questions to answer exactly what caused this blaze. In the East Village Live, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.